Good morning, everyone. It's Sunday, May 13th, 2018, Mother's Day, and um, I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. I'd like to wish all of you a happy Mother's Day where it applies. Um, this is a difficult day for me because the Lord has denied me children. So as the whole world is engaged in celebrating motherhood, I have to sit on the sidelines. It's very difficult to watch and wait for this day to pass. And also I'm reminded of the loss of my mother. So it's a double uh, jeopardy for me on this day. And um, I wasn't even going to come on and do a video, but uh, here I am. So um, I would like to say the Our Father, so please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory Ever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Father, for this day and for all my blessings, Father, and to the path that I walked with you through this life on planet Earth. I thank you for the trials, the tribulations. The pluses, the minuses, the additions, and the deficits. I thank you for all of it. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, this is called, I have two of them, this is called Impulsiveness or Discipleship, and the reading is from Jude, uh, chapter 20, oh, no, verse 20, Jude 20. But you, beloved, building yourselves up on your most holy faith. There was nothing of the nature of impulsive or thoughtless action about our Lord, but only a calm strength that never got into a panic. Most of us develop our Christianity along the lines of our own nature, not along the lines of God's nature. Impulsiveness is a trait of the natural life, and our Lord always ignores it because it hinders the development of the life of the disciple. Watch how the Spirit of God gives a sense of restraint to impulsiveness, suddenly bringing us a feeling of self-conscious foolishness, which makes us instantly want to vindicate ourselves. Impulsiveness is all right in a child, but it is disastrous in a man or a woman. An impulsive adult is always a spoiled person. Impulsiveness needs to be trained into intuition through disciple. Discipleship is built entirely on the supernatural grace of God. Walking on water is easy to someone with impulsive boldness, 
but walking on dry land as a disciple of Jesus Christ is something altogether different. Peter walked on water to go to Jesus, but he, quotes, followed him at a distance, unquote, on dry land. You can read about that in Mark 14, 54. We do not need the grace of God to withstand crisis. Human nature and pride are sufficient for us to face the stress and the strain magnificently. But it does require the supernatural grace of God to live 24 hours a day, every day, as a saint, going through drudgery and living an ordinary, unnoticed, and ignored existence as a disciple of Jesus. It is ingrained in us that we have to do exceptional things for God, but we do not. We have to be exceptional in the ordinary things of life and the holy on the ordinary streets among ordinary people and this is not learned in five minutes. And then the next one is called The Unheeded Secret. And the reading is from John 18, 36. And it says, Jesus answered, quote, My kingdom is not of this world, unquote. The great enemy of the Lord, Jesus Christ, today is the idea of practical work that has no basis in the New Testament but comes from the systems of the world. This work insists upon endless energy and activities but no private life with Jesus. Um, no private life with God. The emphasis is put on the wrong thing. Jesus said, quotes, The kingdom of God does not come with observation, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. Unquote. And you could read that in Luke 17, uh, verse 20 and 21. It is hidden. It is a hidden, obscure thing. An active Christian worker too often lives to be seen by others while it is the innermost personal area that reveals the power of a person's life we must get rid of the plague of the spirit of this religious age in which we live in our lord's life there was none of the pressure and the rushing of tremendous activity that we regard so highly today. And a disciple is to be like his master. The central point of the kingdom of Jesus Christ is a personal relationship with him, not public usefulness to others. It is not the practical activities that are the strength of this Bible training college its entire strength lies in the fact that here you are immersed in the truths of God to soak in them before him. You have no idea where, of where or how God is going to engineer your future circumstances. And no knowledge of what stress and strain is going to be placed on you either at home or abroad. And if you waste your time in overactivity, instead of being immersed in the great fundamental truths of God, God's redemption, then you will snap when the stress and strain do come. But if this time of soaking before God is being spent in getting rooted and grounded in him, which may appear to be impractical, then you will remain true to him, whatever happens. Amen. Very, very intense, deep and powerful devotionals today. I hope they spoke to you 
And um, on that note, I'd like to wish you a beautiful day in the Lord. May God bless and protect you and keep you. And um, I want to tell you that I love you. Jesus loves you. Never forget it. Never forget it. He's coming very, very soon. So keep looking up. God bless.